hope you're all as excited as I am. And why am I excited? You I should know me by now. Why am I excited? Because we're starting a new topic. Yay! <laughs> and like Pastor said, this new topic is called Creating Healthy Family. Pastor, and as the title says, it's all about having a healthy, happy family. And in this section, we should hopefully learn by the end of it how to create relationships that are loving, honest, and loyal. We should all feel like we belong in a family that supports each other and helps each other, each individual, develop. And also, when I say the fam- word family, or when we talk about the word family, I want you to think not only of your immediate blood relatives, but family also includes your fellow Christians. And non-Christians that are around you in your life. Okay, so with that introduction, let's look at our notes that Pastor just handed out. And we're going to start with the first point, 1.1. And it says, we are adopted into God's family. So we intentionally create family and community wherever we go. So you see, when God created humankind, when God created us, he created us in love. He also created us to love. And he created us to be loved. You see, God never ever intended for anybody to be alone in this world. And we see this right from the beginning of the creation story. When God created Adam, he also created Eve because he said it is not good for man to be alone. And then he gave them the ability to reproduce, start a family. And from that family came a community and society as we know it today. All because God knows that we cannot function alone. We just don't do well when we're isolated and by ourselves. We all need each other. Turn to somebody and say, I need you. <laughs> Some of you did not enjoy that. But <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. So as much as we don't like to be alone, society is full of very lonely people. Uh, society is full of lonely people. 
even though we are surrounded by hundreds and thousands of people every single day many people actually feel very lonely inside kodak manushyante atulante harima thanika makti bena and it's our human nature to want that connection with another person ape manushika gatiya tama apita avashyai e when we are saved when we accept jesus as our lord and our savior api jesus wahase matamunge galum karya swami atlese piligattam one of the very things he god does is adopt us into his family unwahase karabu palaveni de tama moolika de apiwa hada gatta wada gatta unwahase ge paulata we become his sons and his daughters because we are adopted into his family unwahase apiwa hada gatta unwahase ge ma daruwa diyaniya putriya diyaniya klesa you see when god adopts us into his family he's making sure that we feel wanted that we belong to something unwahase ese karapu am unwahase apita penwa unwahase ta apu ona apit apu unwahase ta godak awashyai kiyala god in his word gives us a model of what a healthy family is unwahase alankar lese ekake penala tiyena kes ko kohomata e nirogi paula kiyana eka sadenne kiyala and when we keep god as the head of our family ape paula tula e moolikya lesa da unwahase wa tabuwama we can create healthy families here on earth nirogi paul me polowa tuna nirmane karanna so each one of us in this room are brothers and sisters the api hama kenekma me sthane inna sahodariyek ha sahodareyek look around look around the room mudra balante wate pitawa we are a family api ek paulak we are brothers and sisters api sahodariyot sahodariyot because we share a father in heaven api apati ne ek piyana ne swargin ne piyana vahanse sheridan is making funny faces <laughs> we might not always like we might not always like each other samaharela ta apita hama sissema antayata ek lesa kemathi wenna ba we might not always get along with each other samaharata apita ekata jeevat wenna samaharela ta amarui but just like a real blood family we are a family attadama eka le eka le tiyana paulak wage api eka paulak we support each other api ekik nadu daw karana we pray for one another api anna igane aaksha karana you know if i'm missing one sunday you guys give me a call and say where were you what happened to you mama eka irudune ka palliya wenatthan call karala hanu ai aha wenatthe palli kiyala and you know some of you guys i see every sunday which is more then a lot of like my cousins my uncles and my aunts you guys are more family to me you know magema pauli magema nyanti anta wada man oba dakino hama iridunaka ma avilla all right enough of the sob story <laughs> so it should come as to no surprise to us therefore that wherever we go god wants us to create family to create a community with the people around us ऐसी <laughs> and it's not always people who are lonely and desperate and broken hemasisima kada vaticha jeevita ekama thaniwa inna ay pamanak nove there might be different reasons for it samahayata wenat hetun tiyenne puluwanne but god doesn't want anybody to be alone devian wahasata awashana kisivek thaniwilla and he has chosen each one of us who has been adopted into his family to go out there and adopt others into this family unwahase unwahase ge paulata apawa aragana hada wadagana tiyenne apa gos anna ewa unwahase ge paulata genela ekathu karana pinisai god extended his loving grace towards us 
So we can also be graceful towards others as well. So this morning I want us I want you guys and all of us just to have a think about who is our family. Who has God placed in our lives where he's saying bring them a little bit closer into your family? And you know, I know there are a lot of people in this room who are single people. And you know, there are many of you who don't even have your immediate family here. You know, they're in different countries, in different places. But that doesn't mean you don't have a family. Those of you who are sitting here as individuals, as single people, you can look around the room and still say, that person is my family. So don't feel excluded. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's move on to 1.2. 1.2 .2 says, We think like healthy family members and do what is best for the whole environment. Mutually submitting to one another in love and not being selfish. Apart Martha Kamin Kamen Thurava, Nirogi Paul Samajiki and Lesser, Apavatavu Parisaretaha, Vata Varanet, Anargama de Kernula Banatara, At Martha Kami Twin Thurava, Kinekata Prem Kermin, Unnune Lesse Kinekate at Atwimo. When we think of a perfect family, we all have. A picture of that, what that family looks like. I always imagine, you know, those families that get up and they have breakfast together. The mum is flipping some fresh pancakes on the stove. The kids are eating all their food. And then they come home and they have dinner together. Hi, son, how was your day? <laughs> but don't we know that reality is often different? I can't make pancakes <laughs> to begin <laughs> with. <laughs> and when I do, my sons do not eat it. <laughs> but each one of our families looks different, behaves different, functions differently. And sometimes it's so easy to get caught up in our lives, in the busyness of life. We forget to stop and think about what does that person need? Is my husband happy? Is my wife happy? Are my children happy? And often we do, we overlook our, the needs of our families completely unintentionally. And if you ask your par if you ask any parent, they will always tell you, I'll do anything for my children. My children come first. And if you ask children, what do your parents want? They're like, I don't. Money. <laughs> <laughs> but it works both ways. You know, parents need to think about their children, but children also need to think about their parents. But what actually happens, like I said, is completely different. You know, we want the best, but the way we actually live leads us to 
ignore the needs of the people in the family ettadama api aasai api aasa karana ay sampurna deyata namuth aba jeevath wenne aba kriya karanne ara e avamuk karanawal tula i think as a family we should have a plan among hitanawa a paulak lesa apata selasmak tibiya yuthe as parents even the single people in here even as individuals you need to have a picture in your head of what you think a healthy family is මෙතන ඉන්න තනිව තනිකඩව ඉන්න අය හැම පවුලකට සම්බන්ධයි පවා ඔබට යම් කිසි පින්තූරයක් තබා ගත යුතුයි මොකක්ද මේ නිරෝගී පවුල කියන එක කියලා Like I said God begins to give us a model of what that family should look like දෙවියන් වහන්සේ අපට දීලා තියෙනවා නිරූපණය කරලා තියෙනවා මොකක්ද මේකේ ස්වරූපය කියලා And if your family doesn't actually reflect the teachings of the Bible on what a family should look like දෙව වචනයේ කියන ලෙස ඒක පරාවර්තනය වෙන්නේ නැත්තම් ඔබගේ පවුල තුල then we can begin you can begin as individuals in your home to start making changes in your environment to look more like what Jesus wants it to look like oh is a karana wesse nam oba ek ek kena thirnaya karagatte yutu paul tule api keseda wenas wenne keneka e unohase kiyapu aakarayata kiyala one of the key things is don't be selfish එක යතුරක් තම උන්වහන්සේ දීලා තියෙන ආත්මාර්ථ කාමී වෙන්න එපා කියලා. Nobody is selfish intentionally. කිසිම කෙනෙක් ඒ අරමුණක් සහිතව ආත්මාර්ථ කාමී වෙන්න නැහැ. My boys love to watch cartoons. මගේ දරුවෝ හරි මාසයි කාටුන් බලන්න. If I gave Levi my phone right now, he would watch that for hours and hours and you would not even know he was in the room. මං මගේ දුරකථනේ හොට දුන්නොත් ඉන් ඔහු පැය ගානක් පැය ගානක් එක දිගට ඔය කාටුන් බලන්න කිසිම සද්දයක් නැතුව කාමරේදී But I know that it's not healthy for him for a child to spend a lot of time in front of the screen is unhealthy for many reasons මං දන්නවා ඒ ස්ක්‍රීන් එක ඉස්සරහ දරුවා පැය ගානක් කාලේ ගත කරන එක ඒ ඔහුට නිරෝගිකම් ගෙන දෙන්න හැ කියලා But in my selfish needs නමුත් මගේ ආර්ථ ආත්මාර්ථ කාමී අවශ්‍යතා තුල When I need him to be quiet and out of my way, oh, oh, nishabte vela mage yena teneng vena teneka tiya ganda ona na. I'm like, hey, take the phone, go away, go sit somewhere. Iro ase phone neka dilati na yan na gihe gila balan na kela. And I admit that is just for my selfish reasons. It's me. I just want my space. I need to clean something or whatever. So I'll do that, knowing it's selfish, but just to get him out the way. ඒ මගේ ආත්මාත් කාමී ඒ අරමුණු තුල මම සමහරට යමක් මේ පවිත්‍ර කරන්න හරි නිවසේ ඒ හේතු නිසා මම ඔහුට දෙනවා ගිහිල්ලා ඔක මගේ ස්ථානෙන් පිටතට ගිහිල්ලා මේක බලන්න කියලා and i think if i ask all the parents in this room there are probably things that you do that are selfish මං කියනවා මේ උදෑසන මේ ස්ථානේ ඉන්න ඒ දෙමෝපියන් සිටිනවා ඒ ආත්මාත් කාමී කම නිසා and you know we do things for our our comfort to make our lives easier e deval api karanne tamagema suwa pahasuwa udesai tamagema tiyena truptimat kama udesa but it is absolutely no good for the people in our family namut e karana hema deyakma paula tula tiyena ay paula inna apa avati inna ayata eka proyojanawath wenne na let's think about some other examples api wenna nidasun gammo i know of families where the mom stays at home and the dad goes to work මම දන්නවා පවුලක් අම්මා ගෙදර ඉන්නවා තාත රැකියාවට යනවා and as soon as it's time for dad to get home everybody hurries around and cleans the house තාත ගෙදර එන්න ලං වෙනකොට කට්ටිය දුව දුව ටක් ගාලා ඔක්කොම සුද්ද පවිත්‍ර කරනවා නිවස everybody's on their best behavior because dad's home now shh හොඳම හැසිරීම තුල ඕනේ ඉන්නා ඕන කියන තාත ගෙදරට ආව කියලා dad sits in front of the tv the kids all disappear into their own rooms තාත tv එක ඉස්සරහ ඉඳ ගන්නවා ඊට පස්සේ ඔක්කොම දරුවෝ ටික අතුරු දහන් වෙනවා උන්ගේ කාමර වල and you know we laugh about it but in that scenario අපි ඒක ගැන සිනහ වෙනවා නමුත් ඒ කතන්දරය everybody's working towards the father's needs the needs of that dad hama kenekma kriya karanne taattage avashyathave udesai the children's needs are ignored the mother's needs are ignored e mawage avashyathave epa vela tiyena epa karala tiyena oy sthane daruwan ge avashyathave epa karala tiyena what about in a scenario where both parents go to work 
Nikang hitan make up under ya, mawat pia dinam rek ya wat ya no. You know they come home, they go to work, they come home, everybody hurries around to cook dinner, eat food, and go to bed. And in that scenario, where is their time for family? Where is their time to sit down and talk to each other and see what the other person wants? And I also know of families where parents will bend over backwards to make sure the child is completely happy. And even though they think that's healthy for the child, it's not healthy for anybody. We think we're doing the best for that child by saying, here, have everything that you want. But then what ends up happening is that child grows up selfish and unable to meet other people's needs. So in all those scenarios, and there are many, many others, you know, just like them, there is a lack of balance of what each individual in that family receives from another member of the family. So as family, what you know the Bible teaches us is that we should create an environment that is mutually beneficial for every single person. In Philippians 2, uh, verses 3 to 4, it says, Let each of you look out, not for his own interest, but also for the interest of others. Nubala Pakshek Vadi Kamenva, Nishpal Para to Kara Kamenva, Kisi Diak Nokate Kineka, Tamatamata Vada, Vena Kinek Utumya Yatahat Kamen Sitava. And I also want to read to you what it says in the uh, Message Bible. A Message Bible to Lakthiana de Mao Bakiantiana. If you've gotten anything at all out of following Christ, if his love has made any difference in your life, if being in a community of the Spirit means anything to you, if you have a heart, if you care, then do me a favor. Agree with each other, love each other. Be deep spirited friends. Don't push your way to the front. Don't sweet way your talk to the top. Put yourself aside and help others get ahead. Don't be obsessed with getting your way, your advantage. Forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. I think that passage for me sums it up. If any of you think any of that applies to you, copy that passage out and stick it on your fridge. Read it every day. And eventually maybe we'll start acting in that way as well. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to skip to point 
right, we are all, sorry, we are loyal, which is demonstrated most radically when people fail. We do not punish or abandon those who fail in order to save face or show we hate sin. But instead, we commit to helping them be restored. අපි විශ්වාසවන්ත බව බොහෝ විට ප්‍රදර්ශනය වන්නේ ප්‍රධාන ලෙස අන් මිනිස්යන්ගේ අසමත් වීම නිසාය. අසමත් වූ සෑම වැරදුණු මිනිස්යන් අප විසින් දඬුවමට පත් කිරීම හෝ අත්හැර දැමීම නොකරනු ලබන අතර අපි පාපයට ද්වේෂ කරන බව පෙන්වීමට හෝ අප කීර්තියෙන් බේරීම වෙනුවට අප උදෙසා අප ඕන් උදෙසා කැප වී ඕන් නැවත පිට වීමට උදව් කරමු. What this point is telling us to paraphrase is that just as soon as somebody does something wrong or makes a mistake are we the kind of people who are going to just leave them and run away um me me karunathula kiyana yam varaddakko athapasuvimakko yamak sidu nam api e bandu pudgalayan nu eka athara dala eka eka etani berila duwana most of us think i think we would describe ourselves as loyal people මං බොහෝ විට මං දන්නවා ඔබ ඔබ හිතනවා අපි විශ්වාසවන්ත මිනිස්සු කියලා. But our loyalties are tested when somebody that we know really needs us. අපේ විශ්වාසවන්ත කව සැබවින්ම පිළිබිඹු වන්නේ යමෙක්ට යම් අවශ්‍යතාවයක් ඇතුව සිටිද්දී. Mostly when people reveal themselves and they show their failures and their weaknesses. බොහෝ වෙලාවට අපිට මිනිස්යන් එලිතරව් වෙන්නේ ඕන්ගේ තියෙන දුර්වල කන්න ඕන්ගේ තියෙන ඒ දුබලතා ලෙස. So when somebody says I've made a mistake, I have a weakness, what do we do? යමෙක් කොබට කියද්දි මට මේ දුර්වල කම තියෙනවා, මට මේ දුබල කම තියෙනවා කියලා ඔබ මොකද්ද කරන්නේ? Do we judge them? Do we condemn them? ඔබ දඬුවමට පත් කරනවද? ඔබ චෝදනා කරනවද ඔහුට? And I know it can be a challenge. මන් දන්නවා ඒක අපි අපිට අභියෝගයක්. When somebody makes a mistake, the first thing we want to do is shout and scream. යමෙක් යම් වරදක් කරපාම කරන පළවෙනි දේ තමයි කෑ ගසන එක. It's like why did you do that? Do you, you know better? ඇයි ඇයි ඔබ මේ දේ කරේ ඔබට මේ දේ හොඳට මේ දේ කරන්න තිබුණා. I told you this was going to happen. මම කිව්වා මේ දේ මේ විදිහට වෙයි කියලා. But when we do that, what what is happening to that relationship? එසේ ඔබ එහෙම කියපුවාම කුමක්ද ඒ සම්බන්ධතාවයට වෙන්නේ? We are losing that person's trust. ඒ ඒ පුද්ගලයාගේ විශ්වාසවන්තකම අප කෙරේ කැඩෙනවා. And the next time that person is in trouble, ඒ ඊළඟ වතාවේ පුද්ගලයාට යම් කිසි ප්‍රශ්නයකට මුහුණ දෙද්දී, then it might not come to us because they think well that person is just going to judge me and condemn me and say I told you so. නැවත ඔහුට ඒ ප්‍රශ්නය තුල ඔබ වෙත ටෙන්ට් යන්න නැහැ මක් නිසාද ඔහු කියනවා මාව දඬුවමට පත් කරනවා මාව චෝදනා කරන එබැවින් මං එයා ළඟට නැවත යන්න නැහැ කියලා. So in Galatians 6:1 it tells us instead of judging and condemning Galati Galati 6 එකේ කියනවා ඔබ චෝදනා නැගීමත් ඒ ඒකට ඒකට වෙනුවට it says brethren if a man is overtaken in any trespass any trespass you who are spiritual restore such one in a spirit of gentleness considering yourself lest you be tempted sahodareni manushyek yam varadakata asunoth ආත්මික වූ නොබලා මුර්දු කමේ ආත්මයෙන් යුක්තව ඉබන්දු කෙනෙකු හරවා ගන්නිල්ල so he's saying if a person falls into sin yamik paapeta vatunoth if they make a mistake yamikta varadak sidunoth you who are spiritual you who are christian ආත්මික වූ නොබලා කීතුනුවන් වූ නොබලා you help them get it out that sin ඔබ උදව් කර යුතු ඔහුගේ ස්ථානෙන් පිටතට එන්න. And do it with love and kindness and gentleness. ඔබ ඒ දේ කළ යුත්තේ ප්‍රේමයෙන් යුත් ඒ මුරුදු කමිනුත් යුක්තවයි. Because the reality is none of us are beyond sin or mistakes or failure. අපි කිසිවෙක් පාප නොකරන කිසිවෙක් නැහැ. And one day it might be us who needs that loyal friend. සමහර තව දවසකට මම වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඒ ඒ අවශ්‍යතාවය ඇතු වෙන්නේ. To help us through our difficult times. අපිට අවශ්‍යයි ඒ කරදර ඒ මොහතවල් වල පිටතට එන්න. So again I'm very quickly going to use the example of children. මම ඒ දරුවෝ ගැන නිදසුනු ගන්න යනවා මේ වෙලාවේ. When our children make mistakes and they make mistakes all the time. 
අපි දරුවෝ නිතරම ඒ වැරදි දේවල් කරනවා and as children get older those mistakes can get worse and actually have a massive impact on their lives as well ඒ දරුවෝ ලොකු මහත් වුණාට පස්සේ ඒගොල්ලන් කරන දේවල් ඒගොල්ලන්ගේ වර වැරදීම් කරන කොට ගැන ඒව මහත් වූ බලපෑමක් පවා ජීවිත වලට කරනවා we need to be able to demonstrate that we are there for them no matter how big of a mistake it is ඒ ඔවුන්ගේ දුබලතාවය ඔවුන්ගේ වැරැද්ද කොච්චර විශාල වුණත් අපි ඔවුන්ට පෙන්වා යුතුයි අපි ඔවුන්ට ඒ ප්‍රේම කරනවා කියලා. So that they know they can come to us when they have a problem and not hide and make that mistake worse. මොකද ඒ ඔවුන්ගේ කරන වැරැද්ද තව ගැඹුරු ස්ථානයකට යන්න කලින් ඒ ඔවුන්ට තියන්න ඕන තියන්න ඕන පුළුවන්කම නැවත හැරිලා අප ළඟට එන්න. And that same principle can be applied to any relationship. මේ මූල ධර්මය අපිට පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන් අනිත් අය එක්ක තියෙන සම්බන්ධතා තුලටත්. If husbands are able to confide in their wives and say look I'm having this problem. ඒ ස්වාමි පුරුෂයන්ට පුළුවන් නම් බහරයව ළඟට ඇවිල්ලා ඒ කියන්න ඔබ දන්නවද මට මේ ප්‍රශ්නේ තියෙනවා කියලා. Trust is being built so the next time the wife has a problem she can go and say to her husband I'm having a problem. ंग The key thing here to remember is none of us are perfect. Um palaveni moolika karana na api kisivek sarva sampurna naha. But we can help each other be better people. Namuth api ekinakata upakara karaganta puluwan own the apida e yaha pat thaleyata ena pinisa. Thank you. I will end it there.